The views expressed are solely those of the speaker and not necessarily those of Paltalk.com, AVM software, or its advertisers. Talk is online. News Talk Online is a production of Paltalk.com, the largest multimedia interactive program on the internet with more than 4 million unique users, on demand on iTunes, on demand on YouTube, and on my site, GaryBombgarten.com, where you're encouraged to post your comments, whether you agree with yours truly or not. There's an interesting story on there today, by the way, about how the FBI normally looking for criminals while well, they're out scouring the country looking for victims. So you might want to read that one. It's kind of interesting. And thanks to our good friends at CRN Digital Talk Radio, we're syndicated to an additional 12 million households. I am your host, Gary Baumgarten. Welcome to the show. Well, more and more people are turning away from organized religion in favor of their own brands of spirituality. Others are questioning their faith entirely. Today, the latest American Religious Identification Survey was released, showing that traditional religious bases are eroding by large numbers. In fact, 15% of those surveyed said that they have no religion. More than half of the married people who were surveyed had civil, not religious weddings. And 66% say they do not expect to have religious funerals. Joining us today on News Talk Online on PalTalk.com to discuss this major change in religious trends is our friend David Crum of Read the Spirit, an online home for people who believe that diverse spiritual connections between people of faith build stronger communities. David Crum, welcome back to News Talk Online on PalTalk.com. Well, thank you. It's great to be here. Great to hear your voice again, and uh, I don't know whether the results of this survey are particularly surprising to you, uh, but surely you can't be uh, overly enthused by the results. Uh, no, uh, it, this is a very important study. I know some of your listeners may be hearing about it and saying, oh, there's a study every week, uh, this is just some poll. Uh, this is a major study. The group behind this is really um, uh, a landmark team. Uh, it's an important study. It was more than 50,000 people, and uh, in short, they did it right. It's a, it's a serious study. Um, and yeah, they, what they're showing really in this study is a portrait of Americans. It's not all Americans. It's not the majority of Americans, but Americans in the millions are turning away from self-identification to what we call organized religion. And um, still America remains uh, one of the most religious countries in the world. The World Values Survey, uh, which uh, does waves of 80-some countries, it's a different study, um, indicates that America ranks right up there with countries like uh, Chile and Pakistan and very religiously traditional countries in terms of our overall interest in what we would call religion or spirituality. Uh, but this is, a, this is a really important study uh, that has come out and um, certainly is going to have a lot of members of congregations and uh, religious leaders talking about what the future holds for them. So the study seemed to indicate, uh, David Crum, that some of the people who are moving away from organized religion have found their own brand of spirituality. Maybe they believe in God or a uh, higher being uh, or Mother Earth or karma or something. So there's some spirituality in their lives, but some of them are moving away from faith entirely. Uh, can you describe the trend, why that's happening in your opinion? Uh, sure. The, the, it's important for um, listeners as they're thinking about this to realize that in, in broad strokes, um, some form of spirituality matters deeply to the vast majority of Americans. And for example, even in this new study, uh, you know, for years, we, uh, uh, those of us who write about religion have said basically one in four Americans is Catholic, and even though the Catholic numbers are eroding and should be of concern to Catholics, um, 
uh, it's still roughly one in four Americans is Catholic. And the next biggest uh, single group uh, denominationally in America is the Southern Baptist Convention. Evangelicals still are a major uh, uh, minority of the American population. Um, what's happening here is that in the millions, Americans need answers in their daily lives about what makes their lives tick. Why should I get out of bed in the morning? How can I make it through another stressful day? At the end of the day, did anything I do truly matter? And these are timeless, ancient uh, spiritual questions, really important to people. And so when you say to them, what is your religion, um, for millions of people, they're saying, well, wait a minute, I, I don't have a religion. Now, if you'd said, um, are, are you spiritual, do you have a spiritual life, they'd say, well, uh, thank God I get to take a walk in the woods once a week, or thank God I get to go sit at the Starbucks and listen to my favorite uh, tunes on the iPod and just reflect a bit. Uh, that's where it's moving. And they say, thank God, that's pretty interesting uh, that they do. What about some of the uh, religions that are uh, less recognized as mainstream? Uh, for example, it's being asked in text in our virtual auditorium, on paltalk.com. What about religions like uh, the Church of Scientology? Are, are they considered part of uh, the religious base, or are they, and this is a little bit off topic, but I think it's a good question, or um, are they viewed as cultish? Where do you make the distinction? Uh, are you a religion if you declare yourself a religion in the minds of people who study these things? Uh if you're asking specifically about Scientology, it's a relatively small group on the landscape. Um, it was founded by the former science fiction writer L. Ron Hubbard. Some very famous people are members of it. It is controversial, and there it's easy to find online debates about Scientology and its practices. Uh, roughly, it would be described as a spiritual practice. And for those who are deeply into it, it's a fairly intensive spiritual practice. People have tossed around accusations of it being cultish. Um, I don't personally use that term. Uh, it's a little hard to sort out what, if somebody is a very deeply practicing Orthodox Jew or a devoutly practicing Hindu, or, for example, if you're um, an Eastern Orthodox person right now in Lent, uh, you've given up uh, an amazing amount of your diet to do, follow a very strict fast in Lent. It's, it's kind of hard once you begin comparing faiths to sort out who's intensive in their practice and who isn't. Uh, but Scientology um, would not call itself a religion. Um, it is a practice that I would call a spiritual practice. It answers the basic questions of life. Um, how do we sort our life out? How do we become better people? I'm not an advocate for the group, but uh, uh, that's basically what it is. It's, it's a relatively small uh, religious group in America. Well, David Crum, your organization, your uh, uh, website, uh, 